Hello everybody, I am here for a bonus episode of Link's Awakening. We are going, since we cleared the game in the last episode, we're going to go see what unlocks for us now that we've done the, ma the main game. So that said, everything that should unlock for us is actually just in here. And that would be a figurine in the, or at least a figurine in the uh, trendy game and then we're gonna focus all of our time pretty much on Dampe's dungeon building I w wish my computer wouldn't have such a hard time with everything it really shouldn't but <laughs> complaining 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 I really got to get the fans fixed on it yes there's the bow wow All right, so let's see if we can't get this. Because he's a ball, it might fit better into the crane. And it looks like that might be the case. Sweet. Now let's go place this down. You got a Bow Wow figure. It's scarily realistic. You've got a good eye and a steady hand. In here, that makes you a champ. And here's the lump of rock to prove it. I think it's called a chamber stone? Oh, okay, so that's one less that we have to get. And listen, no champ pays more than five rupees a go in my establishment. Hey, that's nice. Let's go place the Bow Wow down and do a last check to see if there's going to be anything else of relevance to us in the crane game. Hey, Bow Wow. <laughs> Let's put this away, and... <laughs> I don't really see any fur coat on Bow Wow, but okay. Happy little chain jump. Let's go do one last check. And there's nothing of relevance to us in here, except for the rupees. Let's go over to Dampe's hut to do all of these dungeon buildings. Now, I'm going to try and keep these bonus episodes to this one and then one more, because we really don't have much else to do. It's just finishing up these dungeons. And I don't have to make my own creative, like, freedom dungeons. I have eight of those I could make, but I don't... Uh, I don't feel like I need to. Hey there! Company's always welcome! Oh, you got a new chamber stone. Let me make that into a chamber for you real quick. You got a plus monsters effect. Ooh. Apply it to a chamber to add a horde of monsters. What are you here for? Let's arrange, and let's design all these dungeons. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to build as many of these as we can. How many do we have? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Did I count that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of these. Let's go ahead and arrange. So, where can we start? I think right there is good enough. And we'll put the Nightmare... We'll use the Eagle this time. We'll put the Nightmare right there. Then we'll use a four-way cross. That won't work. And then, let's put <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Is there another one like this? Okay, we can put it here. And then, 
since we have to put a chest there. Let's go ahead and do that. And then the mini bosses. Let's add the blue. No, let's not put that there. What we will do. Okay, that's guy and this guy. Actually, let's put the regular Hinox down here. And we can put the Goma up here. And just because. And then we need a right hand. We can do tiles, and then we need a, this one. No, we need one of these. I don't mind putting mini bosses in a row here, but let's change this out so that it's more something more relevant. And that works. And then color ghouls. We can put a chest in here, and we can put another chest here. Honestly, these outcrop rooms are probably just going to be like conduits for chests. So that being said, let's put and we can put that here. just to make it a little more complex because you know those are always fun and then we gotta put one of these in go ahead and do that yeah we can do a mini boss for us, why, why not? And then we need one of these. Might be a bit counterintuitive. To... <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't mind fighting this guy twice. <laughs> it's pretty easy and self-explanatory. That wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't. That would also not make sense. We can just put the crab boys there. Alright, so we got two chests that give us keys right before then. The problem is we have to get through all... Of, we have to open every single chest in this dungeon, so this makes it a bit... Ugh. But that's fine for now. We'll record that arrangement. And then we will... Do this. I'm pretty sure it's playing the dungeon that actually takes more time.
That's just by a simple comparison. So what we need is... That won't work. We can do that. And then we can have a chest on either side. If we wanted to, that is. I'm, hmm, where do we want to put the nightmare? We can do hothead and we can put him all the way up there. We can just make this like a smorgasbord of enemies. Because that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. And we can place a room of traps in here. And then we'll just go ahead and put treasure all around. Let's put the Vire in, actually. Not there, though. I'm always down to put more chests in areas. That's, uh, I mean, we're not making a, a vault yet, but... You know, we just got to keep designing, that's all. And then we got to put a stairwell over that way. Okay, this is starting to get a little interesting now. Sneak in a little heart recovery there. And then place... I'll throw another Hinox in, why not? One, two, three, four, five more chambers to place.
You could also put a gray fairy fountain in there. That's kind of kind of funny, honestly. Actually, do we No, this would be stupid to put there. Let's just do another chest and then that and then how about go that. All right, everything looks good. What the, what have I just made? <laughs> All right, so that's two chests before that door. I don't see any way to soft lock this dungeon and it changes the chest based on wherever we go, so that's good. So that is good enough for me with this dungeon. Let's record that. And then go back to arrange some more. Bows swords. Let's design this. What kind of entrance do we want? If we enter here, we can go off to the right and down. So this is going to be more of a passive dungeon. I'm already seeing it right now. And then we'll go ahead. Plonk that there. Is there... We need this kind of chamber. To walk through and then we'll have yeah we can do this one do we have a f we don't have a four way Oh, we have to place a nightmare in here as well. Um, let's do facade. And we'll put him there. And then we need a couple of these. Well, this. I'm getting ru uh, well, we don't want to use that one. And then over here.
Just have a, a tiny bit of a treasure vault thing. Sorry about that. Dogs like to move around a little too much. We kind of need another, like, pathway. So let's... Let's see about that. And then let's put one over. Okay, that, that'll work. Uh, yeah, we'll just put traps in there. And then we'll go ahead and do this. And then a lot of turtle rock screens are able to get in on this, and I appreciate that a lot. Turtle rock is such a good dungeon. And then might as well put in some enemies there. All right. So that's good. I like it. It's pretty nice. We we'll record that. And then we will go to arrange another dungeon. A uh, dungeon song. Alright, so that's set in stone for us. That's a Goma. Let's put the Nightmare. We'll use Slime Eel this time. Let's put Heart Recovery, just in case. And we'll go across the way, drop a chest in here. We'll kind of make this part wrap around, I think. Put the first stairwell there. And I'll put a chest up here along with another stairwell. And. Okay, that'll work for me. I like the idea of using these four way screens a lot. Well, honestly, as much as we can, but it only looks like two spots for now. Unless if something decides to open up. Let's line this in. Go ahead and put a chest in there. And then... Is there a trap room? Doesn't look like it. like that one just because it has a crystal switch in it and we're not going to be using crystal switch go ahead and put that one in there then and with, with all these chests I'm putting in it might as well be a, a treasure vault <laughs> honestly It looks like so we can't do that there because that's a locked in tile we'll do that and we'll put a 
trap room and we kind of need more locked doors in here <laughs> so that said I want to put this here instead that way we can basically force the player to have a lot of locked doors or have need a lot of keys very favor very much favoring the Dodongo snakes in this they're just such an interesting enemy. I love them so much. Just the creepiest of creatures. And then... Should we fight the genie? Yeah. And then we could drop a Hinox in here for another chest. And yeah, we'll put that one there. And then lastly, All right, that's good and done. Uh, 27, that's about 28 minutes in. All right. Let's do House of the Hinox, and then we can play some of these. There's a bunch of those beefy Hinoxes around here. It gets worse, too. You only got three minutes to finish the adventure. Don't know how to handle the Hinox test? Then keep an eye on your hearts. This is going to be funny. I can already tell. Let's just make it a friggin' boss rush. Why not? Why not? I mean, might as well, right? And we'll just put these creeper guys in there. Just a quick little dungeon. House of Hinox. <laughs> Back to square one. We can do this one also. Oh boy. Oh, there is a. <laughs> I love this already. There's a wall master in this dungeon build. And I'm all for it. So let's put this guy... No. No. We don't want to use that one. We do, however, want to use this one. So that being said... I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a bit of a... <laughs> a mean person... with this. Just anything and everything to try and slow down the player. That's what I want to do here. I 
<laughs> oh, that would be a little too mean. And then let's put the red Hinox in here. <laughs> oh, that's going to be hilarious. All right, record that. And then let's quit arranging. Need a hand. Restrictions, no sword. This is another one where you can't use that sword. Now, that's going to make some spots tough or even impossible. When that happens, you're going to need a helpful hand. Let's see. So this one can be made like basically inconsequential. The only problem is we kind of need the nightmare to be something we can get rid of without the sword. So we either have to go with facade or I think I like him better. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we need to wrap his room around into all these. And then... No, we can't put that there. And then we'll put a stairwell here and we'll make that go there and then we'll just drop chests in each of these rooms just to make it a bit easier on ourselves. Can't do that, we need a sword. Bidongo snakes. We should be able to put that there. And then, what are we going to do here? We can't really risk too much. So we need to put a chest there. And then we need to put one Actually, no. We can just do something like that. So, that should be enough chests. So, no matter what we do in this dungeon, it's not breakable. So, we got three chests before those locked doors. We spend one key, two key, three keys, and then either no matter where we go, we either get four now five chests one chest or two chests no one and one okay that's good
How many? Oh boy. Zigzaggy. All right, so what we can do with this one is we can load up these four-way chambers. If we so desire. And we can even put this guy in here. The fun part about this one is that we can basically load up with as many chests as we want. So like stuff like that. And then like all these up top ones we can just do like that. Eh. So we can go ahead and we need a single up. So we can put this as our entrance and we can put the nightmare. Let's do the eagle. Put the eagle up there. That'll work. And then right hand stop. There's so many interesting challenges in all of these. I can see why they had a, quite a bit of fun like letting this be a design thing. Dogs are having issues again. <laughs> I'm not even in the right spot. Put this guy over here. Have a chest there. <sighs> Fucking itches. Itch, 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 itch. Let's be. Let's just put a chest behind every one of these locked doors, I guess. I mean, that's probably the best thing we can do at this point. wee bit of an issue there. Let us move some chambers and let's put some more in its place. Honestly, if I could have it be a, an entire friggin' square, I would. Or just like random dungeons everywhere. Drop a Hinox. Long ways. Actually, let's put that there, drop that. Do we really want to put facade that close in? Confused, I am.
Mm, crystal switches are bad. I'm not even paying attention anymore to where all this is going. <laughs> I think we'll, like, design all the dungeons in this episode and then just have the next bonus episode just be playing through all of them. I mean, that sounds good to me. I mean, we could play through, like, a couple at least. I think we're almost done with this. Let's drop another chest there. And that. We need a yeah, one of these. And then we need a curve. I mean, some of the keys become like useless because they just wrap it around in a circle here, but I'm not here to like make perfect calls on dungeons, but There are unconnected chambers. Is there... Let's hope. Okay, that works. So I guess that'll do that one. And then nothing but stairs. One, two, three, four. We have four more to design. Let's try this. <laughs> so we need a right hand and a right hand only for the dungeon entrance. And that's this one. Now this is a really stupid challenge. Because we have to fit these stairs in everywhere. And we literally cannot be without a, uh, without a room having stairs. To make it a bit easier on ourselves, we will just put that there. Do we have a four-way with... No, we don't, so we can't even do that. This is already going to be a disaster. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. All I want. I'm not sure if I have enough to do this.
This is by far the dumbest one I've ever had to come in contact with. I'm chuckling so much to myself right now. Yeah, sorry about this bonus episode just being designing dungeons, but that's basically what we're reduced to now. And I'm sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm just uh, very engrossed in designing these things. We should have enough. That's weird. Oh my god, dog, stop moving, please. I just told you to stop moving. Lay down somewhere, please. Just stay put. This isn't getting any easier. bunch of these left-handed guys here, but none of the uh, straight-offs. Please tell me we're almost there. Supposedly. We don't have an extra one. What else do I need to do?
<laughs> it still amazes me that there's not a wider variety of these things. Trust me, I don't... Th yeah, I'm going to let this go over an hour because I want to get all these dungeons done in this episode. Like, as in built done. And I would hope we have at least a few more chambers we can... It doesn't look like that's the case. I should have turned. Why do you have to shake, dog? I'm getting a little, a little irate right now. I keep forgetting we have all these pass-through ones we can use too. Well, at least a few of them, anyway. Right hand. Leave it to Nintendo to make all the trickiest of things. That needs to be removed. And we have a walkthrough one. Oh my god, screw that dungeon. Seriously. Okay, everything's in place. <sighs> that one's not going to be fun to play through. <laughs> Let's... Alright, so we got Treasure Horde, Skull Arrangement, and the Supreme Shape. Treasure Horde it is. How about all those chests in there? Tempting, huh? Don't drool over the treasure too much, or you might forget a place, forget the place, an entrance, and a nightmare slayer. So we're gonna fix that right away. And we're gonna put. We haven't used the angler fish in a while. We'll put him up there. And we'll use. Pass through for hearts. Just so we can have some, something. To say we did. We put at least a couple chests in the way. And then we need to make sure that we can get up there because we need a stairwell to get into where the treasure is that's not it and then we can just load all this up Might be more beneficial to put that there first. Well, we can't use the four-way rooms. 
We can use these ones, however. We need a turn off here. Treasure all day, every day. <laughs> Making a design adjustment here. gonna make sure that these wrap around into each other that's what we're gonna do that won't work it's not the correct thing and then do I go snakes no can we do this we do adjust that And then we need to adjust one more room by the look of it. You know what? Water dongo snakes. That wasn't exactly the edit I was going for, but yeah. And then do we have another corner on? We can put a, a guard in here for whatever it's worth. And crossways, we got. All right, so that's good to go. So we'll record that arrangement and we will move on to skull arrangement. You're gonna need most of your chambers for this big guy. Adventuring through it could take a while too. I wish I could put my finger on where I've seen that design before. A Zelda 1, level 9, everybody. We get to design it ourselves. Let's see what we can pull off. Should honestly put the Death Mountain theme on in the background. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. <laughs> I love that music so much. So we'll make it pretty easy. Hold on a second. Oh my god, claw tapping. That's really annoying. It does not help when you have um, metal objects in a room with dog claws. Because that's just... Ugh. So we will put a stairwell right here. And we will make sure that the nightmare is easy access at the beginning. Because by technicality, we can't really like place anything in the eyes because they're blocked off. Well, we'll go ahead and put a mini boss before then. And 
then we can just start filling up everything here. chest there though let's put one here and then well two there and then we'll put that there with I wonder, are we able to do something like this? No, we're not, by the looks of it. Hmm. That would have been an interesting concept, but we had two stairwells here, but I guess we can't do that. So maybe we could just... Put these down as non-need-to-visit rooms. Not that that makes any difference or not. Uh, whatever. I wish we had more enemy variety right now, but considering this is like level nine, the fable level nine, we kind of have to work with what we got. If it wasn't that obvious already. We'll go ahead and put more of these guys in because you know that's always one way to do things what else do we want to do we could even more Dodongo snakes that's all oh wait no we have to connect that room over there so we'll do that and then what do we do we Put that here. Oh, I'm already an hour and five minutes in. We may end up having to like veer off a little bit. I don't see anywhere I can use a four-way of these rooms. Then again, let's and uh... okay. So we can go ahead and put. A staircase there and then we could put another treasure like here This dungeon is going to be a pain in the backside. The playthrough, I can already see it. Might as well just drop another chest in here, why don't we? <laughs> 
and then and then we can drop a stairwell over here is that gonna work No, because well, maybe this dungeon is supposed to be kind of a maze. So maybe we could change this out. Yeah, Hinox buddies. <gasps> Didn't mean to do that. What tile was that? I don't remember what tile that was. Oopsies. Come on. Again, I am trying to design these quickly. But it's really not going quick, as you can probably tell. There's so much like in-depth stuff that you have to worry about. And then we just have to keep worrying about all this jank. And then let's, I guess, I, I shouldn't worry about a crystal switch being randomly in the game. And then, yeah, we can just do stupid stuff like that. We can have a pass through for a boss. And we can do a turn for easy stuff. Tile throwing. Easy, and then last chamber. Will this connect everything properly? That is my question. Okay, so I need another staircase in here somewhere. Can we do... Oh, I, I was indeed missing a staircase. So this dungeon is going to be a pain in the backside to explore. <laughs> okay. Not exactly what I was going for, but by the game's logic, we should have everything in place. So we will go ahead and save that, record it. And then let's arrange the final... Let record it, just in case, again, update. Okay, quit arranging, return to menu. I got scared there. The Supreme Shape is the final dozen dungeon that we need to design. We will do this and I will end off the episode. 
So let's work on this. We can definitely have a bunch of keys in here if we want. We'll just have Link do a lot of little turns. Four doors. And we'll put maybe the right handy guy. And then chest. Another chest. More Dodongo snakes. Just trap all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to become the quickly the dungeon of Dodongo snakes. I still don't know what it is about those enemies, but I just absolutely love them. I tried to explain it in previous episodes, but it's just like... <laughs> That's all I can really get out. Okay. I don't like that the game kind of overrides what's going on in the doors. But I, I can't, I guess it can't really be helped. <laughs> Another round of Dodongo snakes, anybody? <laughs> and then we'll just drop chests in here, I guess.
one last chest over there and then we can fiddle around with the rest of this stuff let's put this guy here and put Goma just cause all right that is this dungeon and oh boy so in the next episode I'm thank you for still being here if you are In the next episode, we're going to be playing all of these dungeons. Every single one of them. It shouldn't take too long considering the challenges. Yeah, especially this one. And this one. There's like the timed ones are going to be really quick. But anyway, please do consider leaving a comment if you have anything you want to draw my attention to. Leave a like if you really want to support the video and get it noticed on YouTube and just to... It indirectly helps grow my channel for viewership as well as uh, consider subscribing if you really want to stay tuned for whatever else I do in the future. I'll appreciate it forever and always and you will be even greater people than you are right now. <sighs> With that said, this has been bonus episode number one of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and I will be back for bonus episode two in the next round. Once again, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.